Okay, welcome uh, to the final of the World Championships in Shoe Shining 2018. Uh, hosted by uh, me, Jess Bringevalsson of Shoe Gazing, together with the Shoe Snob, Jester Fitzpatrick. And we're doing this in collaboration with uh, the shoe care brand Safir. So we uh, checked the ratings and uh, on the, the position uh, with uh, uh, the number of votes just uh, below was Pete Baltitude here. And uh, I can start with you then. You, you were in the final last year as well and you worked for uh, Gatsiano and Gurley in uh, Northampton uh, as a shoeshine and uh, patina specialist in the finishing department. Right? That's correct, yes. Yeah. And, um, it's good to be back. Nervous, but back. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Uh, and you have a former colleague of yours to yes. your uh, right, uh, Thomas Brunswick, uh, who you also worked at Gaziano and Girling before, and uh, before that at Corte, among other things. And uh, now you are set to learn uh, shoemaking down in, uh, in Florence, uh, right? Welcome. Thank you. How does it feel to be here? I'm nervous. Yeah, <laughs> that's what everyone says, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, and then uh, the. Uh, final finalist is uh, John Chung from uh, Singapore. He uh, owns uh, and runs uh, the shoe care uh, shop, uh, shoe shining bar, uh, Mason and Smith. Uh, uh, but you're also based in Tokyo, where you're learning shoemaking. Yeah, you're working for. You've been learning with the Misawa Workshop, and will start as an apprentice at Yohei Fukuda. Yeah. Right yeah. Welcome. How do you feel about being here? Yeah, excited. Happy to be here. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So, as you realize, then we have uh, uh, three professional shoe shiners here, uh, basically, and they do shoe shining and patina basically as uh, as work. So, it should be interesting to see what they come up with here. Uh, what will happen now is that we we'll give them 20 minutes to polish a brand new pair of Log Alwich shoes. Uh, and uh, so it's straight out of the box, no uh, more work than that. And they get uh, one, care of, uh, one can of uh, Saphir Pate uh, and one can of Saphir Mirror Gloss. Um, and they have shoe care brushes. They can bring their own polishing cloth. Uh, and they also have water and uh, a nylon cloth uh, for potential finishing. So, and they pick their own colors. I know that uh, John and Thomas have picked the dark brown and Pete picked black for the Patelu, uh, Medago Patelux. The World Championships in Shoe Shining 2018 starts now. And uh, we have then 20 minutes to polish this shoe as beautiful as possible, as we stated. Which means that, of course, the shine, the glazage, is one part, but also how they work, uh, uh, use the whole shoe, and uh, uh, if they, how they work with the color, uh, with the small uh, possibilities that they have with one can of uh, colored uh, uh, wax. So, uh, I think we're gonna see some different techniques. That's usually what's happened. Uh, you can see that John here to the left has quite a high frequency on things, uh, working very quickly. Uh, Pete looks a bit more relaxed, I would say. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure if that's the case, but that's the look of things. Yeah, uh, and yeah, Thomas also takes it a bit uh, more relaxing from the Yule. And you, as you can see, they mix waxes with uh, water to uh, get a good, uh, less friction on things and get the shine up. So the hard thing with this is, when it's a new shoe, as most of you know, it's uh, not that much wax on it. So it can take a very long time to get a good shine on. And I think you will be amazed of the results that we will see here today. because. So only during these 20 minutes they will achieve some quite amazing stuff, I'm sure. Pete, uh, you were in the final last year, as I mentioned. Uh, what's, uh, what did you learn from that? I wasn't as good as the winner. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was, a, it was a good experience, but um, it, 
it's an eye opener to see how different people polish. It's um, I've been doing this 16 years and uh, I've never seen the way some of these people do it, like yeah. with no cloth and things like that. But, yeah. yeah, it's cool. I enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. When we talk about that, you can see that John here. Uh, he uh, uses his finger to apply the uh, the wax now directly. What's the purpose of that? Uh, using your fingertips? I feel that you can allow the leather to absorb the waxes much better. You can press it into the pores uh, more easily, and I think it creates a, a depth of color which is it takes a longer time to use the cup. Yeah. So for the competition, I decided to use a little bit of my fingers first before polishing the shoes. So how it is? Have you been practicing ahead of this? Uh, this it's a bit special. Normally you don't polish shoes for 20 minutes. Uh, how have you been uh, preparing yourself? Yeah, I've been practicing polishing with the different colors, especially with the mirror gloss. But I've been using Sethia for quite a while, so I'm quite familiar with the products. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting sweaty just by standing in here in the back, so I can just imagine how, how things are for you. Well, would you call this a sport? Um, I never used to, but since something like this happened, I would say it's kind of it's getting that way, definitely. Yeah. It's um, certainly it's something see people seem very interested in, and you know, it's just something I've done as a job, and now it's become more of a, an art and a sport. Yeah. But I didn't realise what happened. But it's it's great that it's getting the recognition it does. Mm. Yeah, you, Thomas, have been working uh, with Patina and uh, shoe shining uh, in the shoe industry for quite a while. Uh, how would you say that the interest in uh, uh, in shining has changed over the past years? Well, people are interested in having shoes that look good. Uh, that's quite recent. Because for many years, I feel that people didn't really, were not interested yeah. in their own products or what they were wearing. So, uh, yeah, it's a good thing. So, you have worked for 7 minutes, so 13 minutes left. So you still have some good time. And you, as you can see, when you look at the shoes, I mean, for only 7 minutes, and they already start to work up a shine on these shoes, which is, yeah, really impressive. Um, and uh, as I mentioned, we do this in collaboration with Safi Medaidor, uh, which is uh, a French premium shoe care brand. And uh, the products that they use here are a bit different. We have one uh, colored Patelux, which is more of a basic wax polish. Uh, there you have the pigments, which you can work up the color with. And then they have a relatively new product called uh, um, Saphir Medidol Mirror Gloss, which is essentially a high shine product, uh, which many find makes it easier to get a high shine quicker uh, so it's uh, two a bit uh, different products but uh, they all work towards the same goal to get a nice uh, shine and uh, protection of the shoes uh, and what the winners will receive here uh, or the winner because we will only announce a winner we won't grade everyone we will announce one world champion and uh, the shoe that they are shining, they have picked their own size, so they will get the look Albert shoe and its sibling uh, to bring home. Uh, and uh, they will also get a, a shoe care uh, kit from Safir Medaido. Uh, with that will also be for all the com final com uh, contestants. And then we also have this lovely award, a glass award, which they are will bring home afterwards. I'm not sure if you've seen this, it's new, but uh, something to put uh, on a pedestal at your uh, home afterwards. So getting close to towards the end now. And uh, they have uh, uh, brushes and uh, also they have nylon cloths, which is basically like women's stockings, uh, which uh, if you don't know, it's uh, really awesome to get a final shine going. So I think we will see some of them use that towards the end here. And then during the last minute I will give you more updates uh, so that you really know when you are supposed to be finished. And when I say that the time is up, you have to release the shoe and step away from the table as they say in the 
chefs competition and all that. After the f they are finished, uh, we, the jury members, will ask you to let us come forward and uh, have a look at the shoe first, shoes first. And once we have uh, had a look on them, we will let you, uh, and we will come forward and announce the winner. Then after that, you are free to come and look at the shoes. So stay tight for a bit, okay? 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Twenty seconds. Ten, nine, five, four, three, two, one, and we're done. All right, give a big round of applause for the finalists in the World Championship for Shoe Shining. All right, amazing job, all of you. Really good, yeah. <laughs> it's tough work. Okay, so as I mentioned, now I will call forward uh, the jury members Sergio from uh, Safir, Justin uh, from the Shoe Snob, and Philip from Low. And we will have an overview of the shoes now. And we will go away for a small session. So please stand by before we come back and announce the winner, all right? All right, so we have uh, had a short uh, jury session where we discussed the shoes and uh, yeah, as, uh, as always, it's impressive results that we see here. Uh, but yeah, okay, we came to the conclusion that uh, the world champion in shoe shining 2018 who will receive a low shoe, uh, shoe care products from Safir and uh, this uh, prize. Sergio from our well will hand it out. Uh, so, the world champion is John Shang from Singapore. Congratulations! And then you can give the, and the, the other ones will also get some uh, nice uh, prices here, yeah? So thank you everyone for uh, following this, and uh, thank you very much, our finalists. Thank you. And thank you all in the audience.